Kia ora guys, my name is Pandy Suicide. Uh, kia ora, if you guys don't know, means hello, hi, in Māori, which is the the native indigenous culture of New Zealand, uh, which is where I'm originally from. Uh, although now I currently live in California most of the time in the United States, so that's why I say certain words funny sometimes. People tell me they don't know what I'm saying, so if you guys get confused, because I have a weird hybrid New Zealand California thing going on. Anyway, the reason why I'm here today talking to you on this video is I am answering a question for Ask SG. So these are questions that people have written in that they want an answer for. Um, they want a suicide girl to answer or suicide girls in general to answer the question for them. So the question that I'm answering today is if I see a suicide girl out in public is it okay for me to go say hi to them? So I like this question. This is a good question. This is um, this is a polite and respectful question. This is an amazing question. But uh, I'm gonna answer it as best as I can in terms of my own personal opinion. So my first thought of answering that question is the word context. So what is the context in which you're seeing the suicide girl out in the wild? Where are you seeing her? Are you, first of all, are you 100% sure it's her? <laughs> That's the first thing you gotta think. You might want to double check on your social media, compare her tattoos or something. Make sure this is the right girl because if you do decide to approach her, you know, and it's some completely other girl, you know, not saying that that would be necessarily a bad thing, but it might not just go quite the way you think it's gonna go. So first of all, confirm that you're pretty sure it's her. <laughs> that would be the first thing I would do. Second of all is Yes, the context. Actually, that's that's gonna be first. Con what is the context? So, where are you seeing this girl? Are you... If you're at an event such as a convention, like a comic book convention, like San Diego Comic Con, or any of the other conventions, like a tattoo convention, something like that, um, where Suicide Girls ourselves have a booth, like there's a Suicide Girls booth, and there's a bunch of Suicide Girls in there, and maybe you see one roaming around out of her booth, or visiting the booth or something or in the booth of course that is what that is what the suicide girls are there for um we want you to come say hi you know if you see suicide girls at a booth somewhere at a convention or at an event you know um or maybe at the suicide girls burlesque show or something like that that's a situation where you know where it's advertised that there are suicide girls there or, you know, the suicide girl themselves is advertising that they're going to be there, then it's probably safe to, to, to say hi. It's probably, they probably want you to say hi. Definitely, I know when, when I've been in a booth, that's what we want. We want you guys to come up and say hi. We want you guys to come up and take a picture, get an autograph, hang out, have a chat, whatever. You know, talk about suicide girls, ask us more questions that we can answer on the uh, Ask SG <laughs> YouTube videos. Um, so first of all, that is my answer for for anything like that. 100% yes. Um, if, however, there, again, context is context is key. If it looks like a suicide girl is maybe in the middle of something, or I think this applies to anyone. <laughs> if you're gonna go up to anyone that you don't really know, you don't want to be interrupting them. You know, if they look like they're in the middle, middle of something, or they're they're talking, you know what I mean? Like, if they're, or they're maybe with their family or something like that, which is probably not the case in a public situation like in a suicide group. So in that case, you should pretty much always go up and say hi, because that's what we want, and we would love it. Um, but, but if you see a suicide girl somewhere else, that's when you gotta kinda think about it a little more. And it's really great that you ask this question, and this is where you ask yourself the question. And this is where you think about the context again. So if you see a suicide girl, you know, walking by herself somewhere, maybe at night, she might get freaked out. Any woman might get freaked out if you go go up to them. You know, someone walking, anyone walking alone at night might get freaked out. It depends on your approach. Um, if they're with their family, it seems like, or you know, they look like they're doing something important. If you see them in a doctor's office, I definitely would not recommend <laughs> being like, hi, aren't you such and such suicide? Or anywhere where, you know, you don't necessarily 
want to be, you know, be, be bothered. But that's just for general people. But, um, what else? Okay, I'll tell you my own story. My own story of seeing a suicide girl in the wild and where I didn't say hi and I wanted to. So, <laughs> I was at a grocery store a little while ago. Um, this might have been last year, I think. And I saw a girl with a bunch of tattoos who was really beautiful. I'm like, oh, that girl's really beautiful. Where do I know her from? She looked really familiar. And my mind was kind of thinking about it as I was going around the store. You know, which this all sounds a bit stalkerish, so I'm sorry to the suicide girl in question. Um, and then I was like, oh my god, I think that's visual suicide. So I, what I did is I went on Instagram or Suicide Girls and I went to suicidegirls.com and I double checked, yes, first of all, that it was visual suicide because it could have been some, <laughs> I could have had it completely wrong. And then I saw her, she was alone and you know, I'm also a suicide girl and a girl so I don't think that I would come across necessarily as scary. Well, maybe people do think I'm scary. I make a lot of horror movies, so. <laughs> I'm often covered in blood, so you never know. I wasn't at the time, though, not in the grocery store. I don't usually go to the store covered in blood. Occasionally, but not not this time. Uh, so I, I saw her and I was like, that is definitely fishbowl suicide. And she's amazing and she's gorgeous. And she's, I really want to say hi to her, but she's by herself. She's shopping in the store. She doesn't look like she was to be bothered. So I kind of left it alone. It's like I could have gone up to her, and I probably should have. It would have been fine. But even then, I felt like it's, um, I don't really know her. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So um, in that kind of a situation, you gotta you gotta kind of weigh your pros and cons. Is it gonna be weird? You know, like. What are you trying to achieve by saying hi? Um, but a lot of times girls will love it. You know, like I've had, I've had situations where I've been out in a public place where people have recognized me from Suicide Girls or a film or something and have said something and it's been great. And other times where it's come across as slightly creepy. So the time when it came across as slightly creepy for me was, um, you know, in a subway. I was in a subway station and somebody kind of chased me around the subway station to, to, to say something to me. And that was a little bit creepy because there weren't a lot of people around, it was like underground, it was at night, it was like an enclosed space. So that was a little creepy and the, the, the guy was, the person was super nice, so it was totally fine. But that's a situation where you might want to think about it. Um, if it's at a bar or an event, then it's much more a situation where you, maybe you want to say hi. Um, if you're in a situation where you're working in a store, or you see the suicide girl working in a store, or in a, some kind of business, um, if the suicide girl is the one working, you can probably say hi, but you want to, you know, you might not want to be like, hey, you're a suicide girl, and have it be some big thing. In the workplace, it might not be appropriate. It might be, I don't know. You gotta kind of think about the context, see, see how it feels. Um, or if you're the one working and they're a customer or something, then you probably should say hi because it's probably rude not to. Because <laughs> maybe it's your job. I don't know. Um, but but as I'm saying, it's just it's kind of all about the context. Uh, definitely something like a funeral <laughs> in a doctor's office. In a situation like that, you probably shouldn't. If they're on their own and it's late at night, or they're obviously with a family or in the middle of something that looks important, <laughs> I, you know, where you feel like you'd be interrupting, I probably would leave it. But other times, definitely at a convention or some event where Suicide Girls is advertising to be, or the girls themselves are advertising to be, um, like a lot of girls dance at at um, Club Bar Sinister here, uh, and they of course want you to come say hi. They want, to, they want you to say hi and give them a tip, <laughs> you know. And they they probably want to take a picture with you. E everything is fine, but it just kind of it all depends on the context and what they're doing and if you're interrupting them. It's just like with any normal person, or if anyone, especially a person you don't know. <laughs> Think about it, if this is the first time you've ever met this person, do you want 
Do you want it to be them thinking, you know, do you want them to remember the first time you met them as being the person that interrupted them when they're in the middle of, you know, closing a deal or <laughs> talking to their family or something? Um, but at the same time, you got to weigh that up. Do you, if you're, if you know who this person is and you, you know, you love their work, of course you want to say hi to them. So it's kind of like, I know a lot of suicide girls love it. They love, they love having people recognize them. I mean, I like it too. It's just certain situations, not so much. So at the end of the day, I don't know if I really answered your question <laughs> to the person who answered the question, asked the question, I'm sorry. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully that gives you some idea of, at least in my opinion, what, you know, some things you could think about when you're, when you want to say hi to a suicide girl in the wild. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I'm Candy Suicide. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.